And so these young Muslims showed up in a group where the majority of people were seniors and elders, young Muslims. And guess what? They were all asked a question. Each table was asked one question. What in your faith, what in your deen inspires you to do service? Each table had a discussion. And there's a young Muslim kid at almost each table. And each Muslim kid wasn't afraid to speak about their deen. Each Muslim kid is talking and talking. And some of the elders from the non-Muslim community came up to me and said that we were so impressed by your kids that they were so passionate about the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that they were so knowledgeable, stuff that we don't even know about our faith, they know. How did this happen? They were shocked. They were bewildered at this. And guess what? The story doesn't end there. Each table is called on to bring one representative up. From amongst two of the tables, one young boy and one young girl were brought up. The boy, his name is Ibrahim. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect all, all of our children. Allahumma hafadhum. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect them from jealousy and hasad and from any evil eye. Ibrahim, a young boy, he gets up there. And he says the answer to the question is that my Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, first he says, I'm a Muslim. He says, I'm a Muslim, loud and proud, not afraid. Nobody else said, I'm this, I'm that. No, he got up there and he said, I'm a Muslim, first and foremost. And then he said that my Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, that Jibreel would continuously come to me and advise me on the rights of the neighbor until I thought that the neighbor would inherit from me. That's how much the rights of the neighbor are. And this young Muslim kid, young Muslim boy, is saying the words of Rasulullah to a crowd of people that don't share the same faith as him. What do you think, what kind of impression does that leave on those people? Allahu Akbar. Think about it. Then, right after, a young Muslim girl gets up there. She's smiling. She's wearing hijab. She's adorning the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala literally on her head. Her name is Sara. And what does she say? She says and gives the example of none other than the companion of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam, Umar radiallahu anhu. And she says that Umar was the leader of the Muslims and despite that fact, he would go to the house of a blind woman on the outskirts of Medina. He would take care of her chores. He would clean her house. He would milk her animals. He would take care of her kids and then he would leave. And in one incident, one day Umar comes and somebody had already beaten him to it. Who was it? It was Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu in the time of his khilafah. Something that both Abu Bakr and Umar did based off of what they learned from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And that's how they answered the question. They answered the question saying, I'm a Muslim, smiling, facial expression, tone, communication, how they look. And that's how they answered the question. And I'm not praising anybody because nobody deserves praise more than they deserve. But the reality is that this is a positive impression of Islam. This is Islamic awareness. This is real da'wah right there. And this is what many of us are responsible for, not just our kids, not just some 14, 15 year old boy and girl. We are all responsible for it. You can teach tafsir and you can study hadith and you can do all of this. But if you aren't doing da'wah out there, if you aren't talking about your deen, if you're not representing it, then somebody else is representing you. We 